this is a supply chain attack potentially mm. like that's kind of what the implication is here and we uh in later in the in the news are going to go through the ticketmaster breach uh that's been mm. talked about this week where a lot of ticketmaster information is out there and uh it seems as though there might be kind of a nexus here in snowflake which is a company that offers cloud storage for a number of different very very important mm. customers like you might have heard these little mom and pop shops like Adobe, AT&T, Capital One, DoorDash, HP, Instacart, JetBlue, um, Kraft, MasterCard, Micro. Like these are all Everybody. very, very large brands. So obviously, if they have a bunch of important customer data stored on this third party, then a supply chain uh, supply chain breach would be a really big deal. So there was communication going on uh, out that was saying like um, it looks as though customer accounts have been breached. But mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't seem as though, um, at least according to the uh, statements from Snowflake, that this was a result of a misconfiguration or, um, I'm sorry, vulnerability misconfiguration or malicious activity within the Snowflake product. So the speculation here was like, maybe there's some sort of problem that right. is making it so, you know, people are getting their accounts breached without doing anything. But it looks as though the statement seems to be that people are having their accounts breached like at an unusual pace, but it might not be because of a specific vulnerability, right. which again is a little confusing to me. So this is all happening kind of fast and we're still looking for more details here. It's really obviously concerning though to see such a large like cloud right. provider um, be potentially involved in these breaches that are impacting really, really large businesses with absolutely massive amounts of customer data. Yeah, this one's gonna have massive fallout. I mean, it's, I mean, stuff like such a gigantic platform, um, such a massive, um, like data lake, you build your data lakes and all sorts of stuff on there and data warehouses too. So there's a ton of stuff up in Snowflake as well. I think, I mean, pretty much everybody uses them. They're massive. So I'm interested to see how this unfolds. It seems to be, you know, the implication that it's not a Snowflake issue, um, just sounds like maybe potentially bad passwords or, um, MFA not on some of these accounts that the users created and it's a knock on offense, but who knows if this is a supply chain attack, this could be arguably maybe the next solar winds, maybe even bigger, depending on, you know, the amount of data that's here. So we'll see. Yeah. I mean, it's so confusing because that would, you know, when you hear that they might, that multiple of their customers are getting breached and that those customers are so large, obviously each one of those breaches is in and of itself, mm -hmm. its own incident response and its own incident. But it's confusing here because the, the current right. statements seem to imply that like this is merely like their customers are being targeted rather suddenly, but not necessarily mm. in response to any anything that they have control over or right. anything that has to do with their product. So we'll see. Um, a lot more information really has to come out for this story to make sense. But it is something that you're right, could turn into a really big story depending on what the real details are here.